Hey everybody, hope you're doing good today. Neil the Knife Guy here. Just pulled this package out of my mailbox. As you can see, this is from Blades Canada, uh, also known as Warriors and Wonders. Had this knife on pre-order from them for about a little less than a month. Um, they shipped it out on the 31st and I got it on the 2nd of February. So, as always with Blades Canada, uh, Warriors and Wonders, um, they ship out super fast and uh, to go from British Columbia all the way to Ontario in what was it two and a half three days uh, really quick shipping as always just gonna open this up um, by the title of the video you already know what this knife is uh, very anticipated knife for 2017 and also uh, I don't want to say a, a controversial knife but a lot of people are sort of disappointed with this knife in that um, they thought it should have been bigger. Why make a smaller version of the Paramilitary 2? Um, a lot of people have been asking for it is why they decided to make this version of the Paramilitary 2. Um, this one being the Para 3. Just going to take this off screen, take my information off. And here's the knife. As you can see, this is the Para 3. And I've been really looking forward to getting this knife. Ever since I first heard about it, I knew I would have to get it. Just a little bit of packing material here. And the knife itself. R right off the bat, I could tell I'm going to love this knife. Um, for the size of it, it's one of my favorite size of knives. Three inch blade, um, I consider a perfect EDC for me. Um, never considered the Paramilitary 3 to be a large knife. Um, the Para 2 actually fits my hand really well. So we'll see how the Para 3 stacks up against it. And that feels real comfortable in hand. A lot of people have been saying the clip adds a hot spot. I'm gripping full strength right now, and honestly, I barely feel it. Um, you don't really notice any marks on my hands. Oh, and I absolutely love this knife already. Let's check the action out. Feels really smooth on opening, and you can see there that it doesn't well, it's pretty close to free falling. Just a little, little shake and it wants to break the sort of full open. Check the lock up out. It's always kind of tough to see the lockup, but it's fairly early, earlier than my Sage came, Sage 5. You can see how further over the lock bar is, pretty much right in the middle of the blade tank. Let me check out blade centering. Looks dead on, I'm going to look around the camera. Might be a hair off to that side, but pretty perfect overall another uh, point of contention for a lot of people with this knife is how sort of high it carries in the pocket um, let's just compare that to the para 2 so lining up the pocket clips you can see it'll be sticking out roughly about not much more actually line up the pocket clips a little bit there that's how much it'll be sticking out of your pocket more than the paramilitary 2 so not that much not really something to get bent over shape about and uh, watching Nick Shabazz's video on the disassembly of this um, people who are worried about this sort of pin uh, being pressed into place it is not it's just shouldered on both sides and sort of sandwiched in between there um, 
Also by his video, uh, this knife does, I'd say 99% likelihood that it has red Loctite on it, which is kind of sad that they're actually using red Loctite on their knives. Um, don't think it's a good idea overall. The blade grind on this looks pretty symmetrical from side to side. Plunge grind looks really nice. And the secondary edge here looks pretty even from side to side. Sorry about that guys, I had to take a phone call. I record most of my videos on my cell phone, so that happens sometimes. Um, like I said, I will be carrying this knife a lot. I could tell already that it's going to be one of my preferred everyday carry knives. Um, love the size overall of knife and is perfect for what I use an EDC knife for every day. Um, a lot of my other knives, like the Sage, uh, Sage 5 and Sage 1, um, even the Domino here is right around that size category. Um, UK PK. And even though it's a little bit bigger knife overall, um, I still consider my 940 to be in that size category of a perfect EDC for myself. Um, love the Paramilitary 2. Not a big knife for me. I'd consider this a medium-sized knife. But love the fact that they came out with a smaller version. And it's done very well. Um, just minor tweaks to the handle shape, to the way the knife is put together to make it actually fit. It's not just a sort of smaller version of the Paramilitary 2, just compressed into a smaller form. It's actually been redesigned a little bit, so it does feel good and sort of stand alone as its own knife. So like I said, I'll be carrying this and I'll do a follow-up follow video on this knife. Uh, to let you know how I like it or don't like it or things that I find out um, could have been done better. So thanks for watching this quick video, guys. Uh, hope you stay tuned. Uh, definitely coming out with some more videos in the near future. I got to move in the next uh, couple months, so I'll be busy doing that. Um, but that just means when you move, you definitely get a, a knife that works well for you. And uh, you definitely put that knife to use. So looking forward to that, looking forward to doing more videos for you guys, and uh, thanks for sticking with me this far, and stay tuned for more.